Today we are ranking our work bags from worst to best. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, and do post videos every week. Okay, so today we have six work bags to talk about. These are all bags from my own collection. I do have a video on, I think, like work bags for different like scenarios, work situations, office situations, whether you're like, you know, you work in tech, it's more casual, or you work in a more professional setting. So I have that video, I'll leave it up here for you guys in case you're interested. But these are six work bags that I have in my collection. So I feel like ever since I started working my corporate job, I feel like I've been very into work bags just because that's the bag that I'm using the most. Like realistically, back when I went into the office every day, I wasn't carrying a small handbag. I wasn't carrying a shoulder bag. I was carrying a bag that fit my laptop, that fit my lunch, that fit my Water. So you're going to notice that trend with a lot of these bags that I have here. Um, they all fit a lot. I will have to say that these are more on the casual side of work bags. Um, I have some like more professional work bags, but even if you're looking for like maybe the Sac de Jour from YSL or the Manhattan, um, those are probably a little bit more structured, more businessy, but they're not as like they don't fit as much stuff. So I feel like you kind of have to pick and choose, but with my work environment and kind of what I do, I feel like a tote is perfectly fine. It fits everything that you need. So we are ranking everything from worst to best. Let's just get into it. Starting with the worst, this should be no surprise to you. This is the Dior book tote. This is the new like medium size um they now this when i bought it it was the small but now it's the medium size and i love this bag don't get me wrong i think the print is beautiful but if we're talking about how like work appropriate this is the cost the functionality this is by far the worst this bag in general is a lot more casual yes i have brought this to work and it does fit a laptop perfectly but it's not the most functional bag. Um, when this bag gets heavy, it's hard to wear on like, your shoulder, especially if you're wearing like a thicker coat, a jacket, sweater, you know, whatever. It's hard to kind of just like tuck this under your arm. I'm wearing kind of a thinner outfit today, so I feel like this is easier. But um, this bag does, in general, even when it's empty, is a very heavy bag. So when you fill it with all of your other stuff, it gets even heavier. So then you're kind of stuck like carrying it like this. It's just not a fun bag to carry around work, especially when you work in like a bigger office and you have to like move from place to place. It's just not the most functional. Um, it does fit a lot, so I will give you that, but because it is still more structured, I feel like some of the other totes that look about the same size fit more stuff. And then on top of that, this is the most expensive bag. I think right now this bag retails for 3,300 or 3,500, which is a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a work bag, especially something that, um, I don't know. I just feel like there's better options out there that you don't need to spend this amount of money on a work bag. I think also if you work in a more professional environment or people carry a little bit more about like what you're wearing, what you're carrying, um, this logo right here, I feel like in general, the more modest or like conservative opinion is to not carry around like big logos at work you want to like I don't know what the logic around that is I don't know if they're like oh well you should like look like you need a job I'm not sure I have no idea um but like this is just not a very modest bag if you're looking for something like that for work so this is by far the worst work bag that I own. Moving on to this style from Demelier. I honestly don't remember what the name is. I'll leave it all linked in the description box below. I really like this bag in terms of the price point, the shape. I think this is a very unique style bag too. It's kind of like on the longer like more vertical instead of like horizontal. So it does still fit a laptop but because it's so thin it really doesn't fit anything else. In terms of the price point, I believe this retails for around like $400. And I think this is a good price point to spend for a work bag. Keep in mind that like when I'm using a work bag, I'm not trying to baby my bag. This is my everyday like throw in all my stuff. It's going to be heavy. It's going to get ruined um, kind of bag. And I think that for the price point to spend on that bag, this is a great price price point but because it's so thin it doesn't fit much this is kind of like a glorified um like a laptop sleeve with like you could wear it as a shoulder bag um this is cute but like I think if you work in an environment where you just need to bring your laptop you have lunch at work you have water at work you have like whatever and like literally nothing else um this is great this is a great bag like this bag will get the job done but it's not the most functional if you're looking to carry other stuff as well i also wanted to add that i 
love the metal detailing here like i think this is such a classy look and it has an adjustable strap however like i don't know how this is supposed to sit like it kind of just like flops like that like i think it's i mean it's not it's fine but um i do really like the detailing when it's kind of on like this it's just when it's not it just looks like that <laughs> the next work bag and probably the most popular i would say and this was definitely my first like work bag my first designer work bag i have a love-hate relationship with this bag because if you're looking at it in terms of the functionality this is a very functional bag this fits everything that you need if it's your laptop if it's your lunch if it's your water um and i was using this religiously for like weeks months pretty much since like before the pandemic when i went to the office i was rotating between this and like the first bag that i'll show you guys and i love this bag but the vachetta i just like i you guys know me i just have like I think it's like less so a love, more like a hate relationship with Vachetta. Like it's just, I, if I'm spending like 2000, this bag is now, but I think $2,000, $2,100. If I'm spending $2,000 on a bag, I want it to look brand new from the first day that I buy it to five years from now. Assuming I like take good, like decent care of my bags, you know, I'm not like hitting it like running it over with my car, right? Like I take pretty good care of my bags and just naturally with the Vachetta, it darkens or patinas over time. And it just is a little bit more sensitive to like the oils on your hands, whether you use lotion or water um, and just things that you have to be a little bit more mindful of. And for that reason, I feel like I don't love this bag that much anymore. Um, and this, I think this is still a really functional bag, but my biggest mistake is probably getting in monogram. I should have gotten it in like Damier a Ben. Um, then I wouldn't have to deal with the Vachetta. Um, and it's like in general, kind of a darker bag. It doesn't have like the LV across it. So it is a little bit more like logo free. I mean, I feel like if you see the other never full you still know that it's a louis vuitton bag but it's not like in your face screaming a louis vuitton bag so maybe that's a little bit better um but i think that's my biggest like beef with this bag it's the vachetta um and i'm actually selling this bag now well i already sold it and now it's like i'm just about to drop it off to its new owner i think this is a great work bag um and i had such a great experience with it and i would totally buy another one but i wouldn't buy it in the monogram canvas with the vachetta i think i would have to get one that maybe in emprunt leather maybe in dami ben um i think this is a great bag and this is this was a great first designer handbag it was just not as carefree as i would want it to be okay so the next bag we have is the neil rogers toe and i think this is such a genius design because all the other bags they're big bags and that's it. They're, they're big bags. They're totes, right? This, however, um, I've kind of talked about this before, either on TikTok and I think maybe on YouTube. You can turn this into a clutch. Like, you can take this out of its, like, little harness. Is that probably the right term? Um, I do have stuffing in there. And then you just, like, kind of fold it over. And then you have this like giant clutch that you can kind of just carry like this. So I think this is a very genius design for a bag. Like you can take this as your work bag, then you can take this to, you can take it out of its like harness and then you can take it to a happy hour for work. I think the functionality is there. I think it's great. The price point is around seven to $800. I think that's not a bad price point to spend on an all leather handbag. Um, I do feel like this is very well made. The leather is so soft and so beautiful. Um, I really don't have any qualms with this bag. Um, I would, however, love to see like a smaller version of this as well. Um, that way, like the clutch is a really big clutch. It's kind of like one of those like statement piece clutches um i would love to see one that's even smaller than that and then you can take it out as a clutch and then that's like a great clutch size as well um but then of course if it is smaller then you can't really use it as a work bag so you kind of it's like a give and take um but i do really like this bag yeah i don't have enough good things to say about it i think in terms of the price point the functionality um the uniqueness of it i think it's pretty pretty high up there in that list for sure okay now we're getting into like my top two favorites which is very hard to pick between like which one but we are factoring in like the price and the functionality and all of these things so this is going to be the second best 
work bag that I have. And this is the Palen Tote. I absolutely love this bag. This is in the color taupe. Um, something I love about this right now, it's kind of cinched in, which I kind of like it that way. I feel like on my frame, this bag is just like really big, but you can also use these magnetic things and then kind of like push it out. So you could in theory fit more stuff. Um, this is a very, very beautiful bag. I love using this um, whenever I need to carry more stuff around. And something I really appreciate about this bag that I feel like uh, not a lot of other bags have, I would love to see this on the Dior, but obviously not. Um, they have top handle like this. You can carry this as a top handle on the crook of your arm, but when things get heavier and you can wear it also as a longer shoulder bag, like what a concept. And because these straps are so much bigger than like, the regular tote bags or like the Dior tote, you can wear this like over a thicker jacket, over a thicker sweater, and you're not gonna have any problems with it like under your arm. So this bag is just a really comfortable bag to wear. I will have to say that because of the shape of the bag, it kind of goes like, inward if that makes sense um it doesn't sit flush with a laptop so a laptop fits in here like there's no doubt that i think even like a 16 inch like my 13 inch for sure fits in here however it doesn't sit like flush on the bottom I don't know if that makes sense because of just the shape of the bag. I would also like to see, I'm sure there they have organizers out there, but I would love to probably get an organizer for this bag. Maybe one that even has a laptop sleeve in there so that the laptop isn't kind of like moving around. I feel like this bag, while it is kind of structured, it doesn't have the most, it doesn't really like sit by itself. I feel like sometimes it leans, sometimes it sits, but sometimes it doesn't. And um, I think just it's missing a little bit more structure at the base of the bag to get it to sit upright all the time. Um, so that's kind of my only two things with the bag. I do love this bag and I definitely would use this for work um, and use it for travel. Like anytime I carry my laptop anywhere, everywhere. So like I would take this bag all the time and it fits a lot. It just doesn't, it's kind of floppy. So if you're looking for like laptop protection, maybe not the best option. I will also have to say, I think the price point for this bag is great. I think it's around the $400 price point. Um, in comparison to like the Neverfull, you can buy five of these and still get the same like look. If anything, this is even a more unique style too. So, I mean, I really don't have too many complaints other than the laptop thing, but also I could stuff this bag with literally everything else and then hand carry my laptop if I'm like, needing to carry it too. So not a huge deal. Um, and like, I can't reiterate this enough. The two straps is so like, I feel like I wouldn't realize how big of a difference it makes until you actually have a bag that has two straps and it's amazing. Okay, last but not least, this should be no surprise to you. My hands down favorite bag is my long shop. I think this is in the large size. This is the Le Pliage. I don't think they make this color anymore. This is like a gray color. And I just, I do not have enough good things to say about this bag. This bag is lightweight, it's carefree. I have been drenched in the rain with this bag. Everything inside is still dry. Um, and I heard you can like throw this in the washing machine. Um, I had a friend recently who just like hose hers down in the shower. I've never actually had a clean mine. I kind of, if I just like spot clean it if I need to, but this is like the best bang for your buck. You're getting a bag that fits a laptop. Well, at least like a 13 inch laptop. A 16 inch, when I had one for my last job, it didn't fit, but that's besides the point. Um, it fits a 13 inch laptop. It fits everything you need inside this bag. And because the bag itself is so lightweight, um, you're not adding additional weight when you're adding all your stuff for work. I will have to say similar with the Palen, it doesn't have as much structure as I would like. Arguably this has less structure than the Palen bags because this is the only nylon bag, but I have seen people add organizers to it. Um, or this really fits if you want to just like add in your laptop and then throw in a throw your laptop into a laptop sleeve and then put it inside the bag. I think that's great for protection as well. Um, this is a low key bag. You're not, you know, you're not going to work to like flex on anyone and that's what you're looking for. This is the best bag. I think also their repair program is great. Um, I don't know too much about all the other brands and their like repair program process but this with Longchamp if you get if like your bag is too heavy and you end up getting holes in the corner which mine have not really started to wear yet like a little bit but like there, there's no holes there so you could in theory bring it back into Longchamp and they actually repair all the holes um for free I believe one time um and then I think you just have to pay for shipping 
I think that's what it is. So um, I think that for a $150 bag is amazing. It's a steal. I've had this bag since 2019. I've used this a ton and this is still like, it still looks like this. Like you, if, if I were to tell you that I bought this yesterday versus I bought this four years ago, you'd be like, oh yeah, like it's great. It's in great condition. So I do not have enough good things to say about this bag. If you are looking for a work bag, none of the other work bags speak to you or you're just looking for something that gets the job done this is the bag this is the perfect option um specifically the large size i kind of like the slouchy look at the large size i used to have the small size too but the small size doesn't fit a laptop if it's an ipad i feel like most people don't just use an ipad for work they need like a laptop so this is hands down the best bag the best work bag in my collection okay so that sums it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what is your go-to work bag i am definitely always looking for work bags even though i haven't like been inside an office in a while and i work from home now but i would love to see what work bags you guys are eyeing i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful for you i'll leave another video for you guys here and i'll see you guys next time bye